hello guys shubham here back again so in my last video i have shown you guys that how you can easily install the no gravity kernel on android 13 poco f1 to get some amazing performance in this video i am going to share you all the settings which i have applied for my no gravity kernel which will give you the enhanced performance and the amazing output so without any further ado let's get into it and see what are settings you have to do So at the very first time, let me show you that I am running on the latest C Android version of Android 13. Going to the about phone section, here you will see that this is the latest version of C Android of 9.2. Tapping on that, this is the rate. Also moving further, you will see that I am running on the no gravity kernel of version 4.9.3. So that's all about it. Also I have all the prerequisites that is the magisk installed where you will see that the module for no gravity which comes out of the box once you install the no gravity zip. Also this ngk application. So jumping towards this application you will see all the profiles in front of you. The current profile is balanced, you will get performance, battery, gaming and gaming plus. My preference is gaming plus so clicking on that. You can also keep the custom profile if you have some knowledge and you can tweak as per your preference. So I will be clicking on this gaming plus and from the menu you will see a whole lot of options which comes with a whole lot of confusion too. You just have to select one of the options from this. First we will start with the option which is the battery one. So after that clicking on the battery option you will see all this information. I suggest not to do any changes on this side because uh, battery customizations is something if you are not aware of it and you do some changes to it then it might just mess up your battery and it will it might not work or just malfunction your battery performance so better not to touch this moving further you have to click on the kernel clicking on that the very front in front option you will see the optimize apps once you click on that you will see that all the apps are getting optimized and that's something you have to do first as a good one. Moving further you will see all the options in thermal you have to select the no gravity thermal so that you will get a good performance overall and Z RAM or better said as Z RAM where you just have to select this actually says that the space you will be giving to this will actually store the applications in the background and it won't get eliminated. So this is just like the concept called as the VRAM where you will get the virtual RAM. So in my case I have selected the 512 MB. Going further you will get all the options. This is the PUBG HDR plus Extreme Config Unlocker. Let me tell you that enabling this option might also let your game crash sometime. So in case it doesn't work then don't panic you just have to disable it and you will still get a good performance in your gaming so these all settings are related to kernel so you can see the optimization of applications have been done going further you just have to click on the smart throttling you have to enable the ngk smart throttling smart throttling is something good and it will give you the best performance so you just have to click it and after that you just have to select the no gravity app Enabling that toggle, you will see the overlay and this overlay is something will give you a notification about throttling and all the other stats. So that's something good. After that, you have to enable the NGK stats overlay where you will get the stats of whatever you have enabled such as the FPS counter, CPU performance, battery performance and all such other stuff. So that's all the setting you have to do over here. Now next is about the stats overlay. From here you can select all the options which you want as an overlay. So you can see NGK stats overlay is enabled and in my case there's a lot of option but I will select the frame rate as an overlay. Once you select this you will see that the frame rate will get counted. As of now it's on idle but when you start playing game it, you will see that it's getting counted. There is a whole lot of options in overlays but you can just select whichever is useful for you as per your preference. So that's how it works. 
so moving next is about the gestures and these options are something which is completely as per your personal preference i personally haven't kept any type of such options so that's are all the setting which i have kept now the next step which is the last one is just you have to restart your device as all the settings will apply on the boot so you just have to restart your device and once your device gets restarted you will see all the settings are getting applied so that's all you have to do to get your settings applied but there's a small catch sometimes the settings you have applied or you have enabled take some time to get reflected just like this you can see that the settings even after i have enabled still it's showing that it's disabled and some of the settings are not visible the reason for that is you have to give some time so that the kernel gets settled and gets optimized as per the settings you have done after the reboot and slowly it will get settled to the settings you have done similarly some of the settings will be visible for you on the spot once you reboot but some settings are something you have to wait for a while and after that you open the application you will see that all the settings has been enabled so that's how it works so basically all these settings which i have kept already it's showing that it's not done but it will be done after a while so not to worry about it rest all the options such as overlay frame rate and all the other things will work fine and also in terms of frame rate you will see that it will take some time to load and after a while you will see that the frame rate counter is getting counted on the extreme right top side so basically you just have to wait for a while so that all the setting gets applied once your device get rebooted and after you have set your preferred settings so that's all the settings i have kept for my ngk kernel for better performance and similarly you can just select the profile you want there's no need that you just have to select the gaming plus but you can select basically all the other profiles of your choice it's completely your preference so that's it for this video guys if you like this video must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such updates upcoming until then see you guys again in the next one till then peace out